Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at managing your iMovie projects and clips. So we're using iMovie 10 here and we're going to take a look at how iMovie stores files. It's different than the previous versions of iMovie but it still uses the idea of events and projects. You've got an iMovie library and this one is called iMovie Library which uh, is the name that it was given when it was created but you can call it anything you want. And under it I have two events, Samples and Samples 2. And the events themselves have projects, two movie projects in this one and one movie project in this one. You can create new events very easily going File, New Event. And you can also create new movie projects and also trailer projects here and they go inside of one of the events which all then go inside of a library. Now to see where this iMovie library is stored, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to control click on it. Actually, you can see as I rolled over there the path come up. I'm going to use reveal in Finder. And I can see that in my movies folder, which is in my user folder, I've got a file here called iMovie Library. .imovie library. And inside this is where all of those uh, different clips and the projects themselves are stored. You can see my old iMovie events and iMovie projects folder from previous versions of uh, iMovie, but this is where the iMovie 10 stores them. So I've got this here. I've also have another iMovie library uh, right there that I'm not even accessing right now. And you can create new iMovie libraries uh, very easily. Uh, to do that, you can go Open Library here, and I can you can see it even knows that there's another one there. I can create a new one, and I'll call it Test Library. And I'm going to save it. Notice I can save it anywhere I want. So I'm going to save it here to the same um, folder here, the Movies folder, as it was saved before. But I could actually save it somewhere else, like say another drive. So if I have multiple drives connected to my Mac, I can easily save it there. Now I can see I have iMovie Library and Test Library here. And I could have used this same Open Library and opened the iMovie Library 1. I can select Other and then go to another drive somewhere and find other iMovie libraries. And you can see it puts a default event in here which is empty. There's no media. There's no project in it. And you can also see I can drag and drop an entire event from one to the other. So I'm going to move Samples 2 to the Test Library. And you see it does that. If Test Library was on a different drive I would have just copied this entire event and projects to that other drive. And I can now delete it from here if I want. So I have the ability to move entire projects and events around as I need. Which brings us to a very straightforward way to archive your projects. All you need to do is create an archive library, stick it on another drive, uh, do it the way we just did inside of iMovie and then uh, drag these projects here and you can see I can actually hold the Command key down and when I hold the Command key down what's going to happen is it's actually going to move, not copy, but move that whole project, uh, set of projects and events here, uh, all the clips, everything in samples to this one. So I just moved it possibly to another drive and then if I wanted to I could then close this and now that's gone and it's still there. It's in that file and I just don't uh, have it listed here on the left. So it's a very easy way to access it. If, if it was an archive I could open it again right now, drag another event in there and then close it again. So very easy then to move projects around between drives, uh, to hide projects that are still there and archive them. Uh, iMovie 10 makes it pretty simple to do that as long as you do it all within this. And then you also have the ability here at the libraries, you know, if I don't want to have to mess with all of these and figure out where things are. I can look at all my projects and all my clips here by using these shortcuts which just basically list everything that's available below it. I can also close these up so if I have a whole bunch I can shrink this down and focus on what I really want to, to do right now. And just to show you what's going on here if I take a look at this library in the Finder just like the iPhoto library, it's a package. So I can control click on it, say show package content, and under there I can see stuff like here's a library, here it's some data files, uh, inside samples I've got uh, different media, rendering files, all sorts of things like that, the iMovie event, 
So all this is stuff that is just stored in here and it's now hidden from you um, because iMovie is controlling it. And if you go in there and you start messing around with the files, iMovie is going to get really confused because it's not going to find uh, the things it needs to find for this event 